Every time you turn it on, they got somebody in there talking about lose weight, get healthy, get in shape. Get everybody looking all anorexic, talking about that's healthy. I know what healthy is. If this dinner scene from the movie Nutty Professor resembles your Thanksgiving feast, then don't be surprised if you packed on a few extra pounds. Personal fitness trainer Caitlin Anderson says the Thanksgiving weekend is a notorious period for gaining unwanted weight. People can gain anywhere from two to five pounds in a weekend, you know. Um, you know, an, an, an extra 3,500 calories in your diet is one pound of fat. That also means you have to burn 3,500 calories to get rid of one pound of fat. So if you gain five pounds, you'll have to burn 17,500 calories. Anderson says there's things you can do at home to kickstart the body's metabolism to burn those calories. If you have five square feet of area in your home, you can do push-ups, you can do jumping jacks, you can do high knees. And if you have a family member or friends who also overindulged at the Thanksgiving table, try doing something active together. And go for a walk or go for a jog or go play football together, you know, go to the park, types, things like that. But if the gym is your scene of choice, then using cardio equipment is always an excellent way to burn calories, especially walking the treadmill. So you should always power walk and then slow walk, and then power walk and then slow walk. It helps your body burn fat instead of a carbohydrate stores. In other words, it forces your body to burn fat instead of muscle. Now you can also add some high repetition weight resistance training, especially to your legs, because your legs are the largest muscle groups in your body that burn the most calories. So if you added some inches to your waistline after a weekend of turkey and all the high caloric trimmings, you can always count on exercise along with a clean diet to get you back in shape. Eric Avanier, KBOI 2 News, watching out for you.